Welcome aboard, everyone. Grab your Bibles. Numbers chapter 21 is where we're going to be today as we once again discuss why a good God allows evil. We'll see you in just a moment. A ministry of the Calvary Baptist Church. This is Countdown to Courage. Well, welcome back. Thanks for hanging there with us today. It's a good Wednesday, December the 20th, 2023. We're coming to you live just a few more days of uh, 2023, and we're going to be heading into a brand new year. Uh, 2023 was a wonderful, wonderful year for the Calvary Baptist Church of Union Grove. It was a wonderful year for our family and I trust that it was a great year for your family as well. We're looking forward, though, to another tremendous year in the Lord. Now, I'm hoping, this is what I'm hoping, I'm hoping the Lord will come before 2024 uh, hits. Uh, but if he doesn't, then I'm trusting the Lord to give us an incredible, incredible year uh, at the Calvary Baptist Church in Union Grove and in my family and in your family as well. And so anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a good Wednesday. Hey, you know what that means, church? It means it's midweek service time. And so we are so excited about tonight. We are going to be, Lord willing, we're going to be in Matthew chapter 2 once again tonight for the service. We'll be talking about the wise men from a little different uh, perspective as we are uh, drawing really, really close to Christmas just a few days away. I love this time of the year, and uh, it's been a very busy, busy time here at, our, here at our house. A lot of the grandkids are here, and, uh, and so it's been very busy, but looking forward to Christmas, and I know that many of you are as well, and so uh, very excited about that. But anyway, uh, we'll see you tonight, 7 o'clock. The service will begin at 7 o'clock. The doors will be open much sooner than that, so I encourage you to get there a little early for fellowship. We'll have some fresh coffee, uh, coffee perkin for you and some lemonade chilling for you. And so uh, it's a wonderful time of fellowship. And then we'll start at 7 p.m. Great time of music, special singing, and then some time around the Word and, of course, some time of prayer and missions emphasis. And so looking forward to all the Lord is going to do tonight in the service at the Calvary Baptist Church of Union Grove, North Carolina. Hope you'll be with us. Looking forward to a great time together. Let me take us over here to the split screen and just make mention of our giveaway this week. We are promoting, as you can see on the screen there, a $10 store credit coupon for our Common Grounds bookstore there at Calvary Baptist Church. A lot of wonderful things in there, quality Bibles and what we uh, affectionately refer to as church merch, uh, great books and uh, garments and jewelry and just all kind of things. And so anyway, if you'd like the opportunity to win uh, the gift certificate, just reach down right now, like and share, like and share. And the more, more that you do that, the more the message of the gospel is going to get out. And Lord willing, we will draw out of that pool of names of those that have shared the broadcast on Friday, and uh, we'll give the uh, store credit coupon away. And so this is a good gift. It's, it's a good value. And uh, anyway, we hope that you'll take advantage of that and just reach down right now and like and share, and that would be great. I'm going to take us back over here to the split screen, and we've been talking about why a good God allows evil. Now, we are, this is our third week uh, that we've been here, and we may, may be here just a little bit longer Several things that we've talked about, we said that God allows evil, God allows problems for the purpose of pressure. We said that God allows problems, so we'll be thankful for peace. And then we're talking about this subject just a little bit this week. God allows evil or God allows problems, so we'll comprehend a penalty. So you and I will comprehend a penalty. There is most certainly a penalty that comes with sin and comes with disobedience. Now, uh, this is where I want to pick up today. God, here again, I want us to make sure that we understand this. And I'm just looking over the outline and sort of getting ready to come on the air today. And I'm just thinking, you know what? This is good. This is good content. 
Um, and I, I believe this is going to be helpful to us because a lot of people get messed up about this. If God is so good, why does God allow problems? If God is so good, why does God allow a valley? If God is so good, why does God allow evil? Now listen closely today. God does allow, at times, God does allow evil. Uh, and at least concerning what we're talking about today, he does so to gain the attention of, of his wayward children. Now, he doesn't do it to hurt you. As we've said multiple times, he does it to help you. He does it to draw you back. He does it because he loves you. Now, we'll get into that in just a little bit, but I want to draw your attention to a great illustration today. And so earlier in the broadcast, I asked you to turn to Numbers chapter 21 in your Bibles. In my opinion, this is one of the scariest illustrations that the Bible ever gives. But look at Numbers chapter 21 in your Bibles and look at verse number four, the Bible referring to the Israelites. The Bible says, and they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to compass the land of Edom. The Bible says, and the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way, verse 5, here it is, Numbers 21, verse 5, and the people spake against God and against Moses. Wherefore have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loatheth this light, this light bread, talking about manna. We don't like what you're giving us. That's what they're saying. We don't like the way you're taking care of us. You're not a good God. And to Moses, you're not a good leader. And boy, they're just lashing out at God and lashing out at God's man. Look at verse number six. Oh my. The Bible says, and the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people and they bit the people and much people of Israel died. Verse 7 says, therefore the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned. Now watch this. We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee, praying to the Lord that he may take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. Now church, listen to me. Uh, God does allow evil. Now we can like that or we can lump that. God's an omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent God. God's a sovereign God. God can do anything he wants to do. doesn't have to ask our permission. And so, yes, to be quite honest, God does allow evil, and sometimes God allows evil to gain the attention of his wayward children. That's exactly what's going on in Numbers chapter 21. The Israelites have become rebellious. They've become, uh, become ungrateful uh, for, for God's deliverance, for God's provision, the Bible says that God scraped over the banisters of heaven, angels food, the corn of heaven, the psalmist called it. And yet the Bible says that the Israelites told the Lord, we loathe this light bread. We hate it. We despise it. We despise what you're doing. We despise your provision. We despise your protection. And the Bible says because of that, God sent. He didn't just allow it. God sent, the Bible says, fiery serpents, poisonous serpents among the Israelites. They begin to bite the Israelites. They became sick, begin to die. And wait a minute now, wait a minute. Let me tell you what happened. It revealed to them their sinful condition. And, and we find them getting right with the Lord. Now again, I'm going to say that again. God allows evil to gain the attention of his wayward children. Now, let me tell you what that means, and this is wonderful. You say, Pastor, how in the world can that be wonderful? Oh, it is wonderful. Listen to this. You know what that means? That means that you and I have a heavenly Father that loves us enough to correct us when we're wrong. Oh, man, that's a good point right there. We have a loving heavenly Father that loves us enough to correct us when we're wrong. Now, think about it like this. What kind of of a loving parent just sits by and lets their kid break law after law after law after law, never says anything, never uh, admonishes them, never uh, restrains them, never disciplines them, never punishes them, but just continues to just sit back and let them break crime or, you know, just uh, uh, commit crime after crime, break law after law. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you right now, that's not a loving parent. In fact, if you go back and study this out, interesting, back in the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel, 
We find that Eli the priest, that's exactly what Eli the priest was doing. His sons, Hophni and Phinehas, were wicked, wicked men, sons of Belial, so worthless is what the Bible is saying there. And the Bible is very clear to tell us that God judged Israel and God judged Eli and Eli's house because the Bible tells us very clearly that Eli did not restrain his boys. He did not restrain his children. He just let them sin, and he never lifted a finger to try to correct them. Now, folks, this is a blessing. You know what this means? This means, yes, from time to time, God does allow evil, but sometimes, quite often, God allows evil to make sure that he gets the attention of his wayward children. He does it not to hurt us. He does it to help us. He does it to reel us back in. He does it to get us back to himself. In fact, listen to what Hebrews chapter 12 and verse number 5 says, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Listen to this, verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. And then in that same chapter, verse 11, Hebrews 12, 11, now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous nevertheless. Afterward he yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Oh, this is good, this is good. You say, preacher, do you love that God that allows evil? You better know I do, I sure do. You say, brother Pope, has God ever allowed evil in your life? He has, he has. And sometimes God has allowed evil to come into my life, thank God, to get my attention, to get me back to himself to arrest my attention, uh, I was wayward, I was wandering, I was getting away from the will of God, and thank God I have a God that loves me enough to chasten me, to punish me, to discipline me, to allow evil to come into my life, not to hurt me, no, 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 to help me, and to bring me back to himself. Oh, yes, good neighbor. You know what, that deserves a big amen right there. That deserves some hearts right there, doesn't it? Man, thank God we have a God that loves us and cares for us and cares enough at times to chasten us. Wow, praise God. Well, hey, listen, we just put our prayer helpline on the screen, 704-327-5662. If you're watching the broadcast today and uh, you're not sure that you're on your way to heaven, oh, listen, we want you to be. We want, we want to introduce you to Christ. We want to introduce you to the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so please call that number right now, 704-327-5662. Let it ring. Let it ring. Now, here's the thing. If no one picks up immediately, leave a number, leave a name, and one of our, one of our uh, prayer helpline workers would love to call you back and share Christ with you and how you can have hope and how you can have a home in heaven. And so please, please call us today. Well, I'm going to leave that number up there just for a few moments, and I'm going to recognize our live audience and then we're going to be heading off into the Wednesday sunset, and we'll look forward to seeing many of you tonight at the Calvary Baptist Church of Union Grove. We've got a great, great crowd on here today, and we thank the Lord for that. Karen Hoppins watching today. Hey, Miss Karen, looking forward to seeing you in just a little while. The Gillies are aboard, Donnie and Tamara. Uh, we sure appreciate all that you folks do around the church. Michael Pendergrass, hey, Mike, I hope you're feeling better and uh, praying for you and Sherry. Good to see you, Mike. God bless you, my friend. Carol Adams is watching. Hey, Carol, we're praying for you continuously. Carol, hang in there. Keep your chin up. Keep your eyes on the Lord. And Carol, it's good to see you on the broadcast today. What a blessing. Sherry Pendergrass. Hey, Miss Sherry, good to see you. Hope you're having an incredible day today. Judy Connors watching. Hello, Miss Judy. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Looking forward to seeing you at Calvary tonight. Christy Hobbs is watching. Hello, Miss Christy. I hope you're having a good day today. It's so good to see you, Gary and Christine Edwards. We want to welcome the Edwards aboard. Gary and Christine, love you guys. Was praying for you earlier today. It's good to see you on the broadcast. There's Jason Anderson, everybody, watching from upstate New York. Hey, Jason, do you have snow? By the way, Jason, thanks for the pictures of the day. And uh, I hope you're doing well. Hope you and your wife and family are doing well. Jason, good to see you today. The Hooks are watching from Morganton, North Carolina. Barry and Christine, we love you folks. It's good to see you today. God bless you both. Um, Brother Mike Horn, hey, Brother Mike. 
good to see you today. I hope your dear wife gets to feeling better. And uh, Mike, it's good to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I hope you got your car back. And uh, Mike, it's good to see you. Let's see, Patsy Bird. Hey, Patsy, welcome aboard. I hope you're having a good day today. You and Ronnie, thank you for tuning in today. Brittany Griffith is watching. Hey, Brittany, welcome to Countdown on this Wednesday. We really appreciate that. Uh, Margie Coleman's watching today. Hey, Margie, I hope you're having a good Wednesday. It's good to see you. Harvey Collins. Hey, Harvey. Thanks for watching up around East Bend. Uh, Harvey, we count you as a friend of this ministry. Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, Joyce Jones is with us today. Hey, Joyce, I hope you and Jerry are blessed and just hitting the high spots today. Thank you for tuning in. Hannah Kashif is watching from Pakistan. Hannah, what a joy to see you back on the broadcast today. And I hope that the Lord uses the uh, countdown ministry to to minister to you and your family. Hannah, it's good to see you on here today. God bless you. Uh, Blaine and uh, Sandra Wagoner, we want to welcome the Wagoners aboard. And uh, I'm not sure if it's Blaine or Sandra, but it doesn't matter. It's good to welcome you folks. Thank you for tuning in today. You can let us know where you're watching from. That would be a blessing. Ricky Bird is watching. Hey, Ricky. Good to see you, friend. Looking forward to seeing you in just a little while. God bless you. Taylor Stewart. Hey, Taylor. Hope you and Courtney and the family are doing well. It's good to see you. Gwendolyn Pennington's watching. And, Car and Carlos <laughs> is watching from... Uh, West Jefferson, North Carolina. Uh, Eugene, Gwendolyn, do you all have snow up there? I bet it's cold. It's good to see on the broadcast today. Uh, let's see. Uh, April Gandy Williams, we want to welcome uh, the Williams aboard today. Thank you so much for tuning in on this Wednesday. Watching in Myrtle Beach. <laughs> Myrtle Beach. Great. Thank you for letting us know where you're watching from. Rodney Tomlin. Hey, Brother Rodney. Hope you and Allison are blessed beyond measure today. And and Rodney, we appreciate all you do around Calvary. And it's good to see you on the broadcast today, my friend. Thank you for being here. And Rodney, I'm looking forward to the service as well. Uh, let's see here. Um, did I say hey to Christy Hobbs? I think I did, Christy. Good to see you. Jessica Manners. Hey, Jessica. Hope you and Chris and the kids are having a good day. Uh, Sophia and Samuel and Josiah. Good to see you today. God bless you. Let's see here. Um, looking fast, looking fast. Give me a little grace here. Appreciate all the amens. Ready to go to church. Uh, Jennifer Burton's watching. Hey, Jennifer, hope you and Jesse are having a good week. It's so good to see you on the broadcast today. God bless you. Kim Joseph Roberts is watching today. We want to welcome the Roberts aboard. Thank you for being a part of our countdown family today. Uh, let's see. Louis Klein. Hey, Louis. Thanks for watching from Ohio. Uh, Louie, it's good to see you, my friend. Man, that's a blessing. So good to see you today. Michelle Hoots is watching. Hey, Michelle, hope you and Lee and the children are having a wonderful, wonderful day today. It's good to see you. Uh, let's see. The Wagoners are watching from Yadkinville. Thank you for letting us know that. We really appreciate that. We've got a great crowd on here. Hey, Countdown family, listen to this. Be kind to everyone because everyone's having a tough time. They really are. Doesn't matter who they are, where they are, doesn't matter what they look like. Everyone's having a tough time. Let's pray for everybody. Let's be kind to everybody. Hey, listen, Countdown family, uh, a, a Calvary family, looking forward to seeing you in just a little while at the Calvary Baptist Church of Union Grove. If you just cannot be there tonight, listen, tune in at 7 p.m., either here on Facebook Live or YouTube, uh, or go to our website at calvarybcug.com, and you can tune in right there on our website tonight, and that would be great. If you'd like some more information about our ministries, hang in there with us as we leave you with this short closing today. God bless you. Be blessed, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to today's broadcast. We invite you to like and share to help spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Tune in again every Tuesday through Friday at 3 p.m. If you would like more information concerning Countdown to Courage or the Calvary Baptist Church, please visit our website today, www.calvarybcug.com. Thank you, and until next time, may God richly bless you.